Right, let's see now. Um, stop. Okay. So what have we got? X equals sine pi y squared. X equals the square root two y. Uh, rotate it around the x axis. Rotate around the x axis. So uh, I don't mean these two pieces. Um, that is the region down by bow. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> All right, so let's find their intersection. So expression numerically real bounds zero zero point one zero. Oh no no doesn't look like that. Sine pi y squared equals two. Oh, because the y value is that. The x value would be two, two over. Right, so it's pi. Then we'll call this one here f. Oh. inverse function solve expression oops Not that one would be the second one with the negative one, not that one. I think it's the second one. Uh, no, that's the black one on the top. It's not that. Let's see. It's not that one. It's not that one. That one. I'm oh, sorry, no, it must be, must be one of the last, it must be this last one. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. And then, so, expression. So I'm going to call this one here 
effects. Oh, well, this one here. This. So go graph. Okay. okay, so it's going to be fx squared minus gx squared times pi. So it's that interpreted from zero to square root two, then it's going to be switched around. So let's put it minus. And so it should be 14 minus oh. so that's zero to here and then here to one to pi okay now this is one five six so we don't don't have an answer for one five six six one of the odd ones unfortunately we have one five seven but not one five six so I hope that's right.